In a Bed of Roses is the 15th episode of the first season of The Golden Girls. This is directed by Terry Hughes. And as always, there will be spoilers as I discuss what happens in this episode. And this is a pretty good episode. I, I did enjoy it. When I read the description for this on IMDb, I thought, okay, this seems quite serious. How funny can this be? But in true Golden Girls style, it is very, very funny, but also with some sentimental moments too. So as I said, there will be spoilers from now. And it starts off with Rose basically sneaking into the house with her date. This is Al, played by Richard Grote. And then the following morning, Rose comes into the kitchen with a smile on her face. And Dorothy tells her that she must have been having a, a pretty wild dream. Obviously, the implication there is that Rose was making certain noises. And Rose doesn't give anything away. She says, yes, it was a nightmare. And then brilliantly, absolutely love this while the rest of them are talking about dirty talk Sophia comes in and tells Rose that there's a man in her bed and I just I love I love Sophia so much she's absolutely my favorite I think on par with Dorothy I think sometimes Dorothy is my favorite sometimes Sophia either way Sophia came in said this absolutely fantastic moment and this this made me laugh it, it's very dark, but it made me laugh. And somebody, I think Blanche, could have been Dorothy, forgive me if I'm mistaken, said, Rose got lucky. And Sophia replies, not so lucky, the man in your bed is dead. Okay, so that is uh, definitely quite dark, but it works so well. The delivery of the lines are just absolutely fantastic. And it's true. Al has died. Uh, and Rose is obviously very panicking about this. And she realizes she has to phone his sister to let her know and she does this and she phones and the person on the other end we don't hear it but we hear Rose saying uh, her side of the conversation and Rose says she must have the wrong number uh, and she puts the phone down and it turns out that it's the, the the right number but the wrong person because it turns out his sister is his wife and I, by that I don't mean that he's married to his sister I mean that this person who is apparently his sister is actually his wife and Rose goes to see her and we have this brilliant exchange between the two of them. I thought it was pretty funny and, and a really good decision as well where when Rose knocked on the door and said it's about your husband, immediately his wife was like, you've been sleeping with my husband because she's used to this. This is the kind of person Al is. I also think that that made it a little bit less emotional. I'm not saying I'm glad Al was dead, but I may, by making him a serial womanizer, it makes it a little bit harder to feel sorry for him. And I think that that worked very well to keep things a little bit lighter. And the exchange between the two is brilliant because it seems like Rose is the one who's struggling the most with this, whereas his wife is supporting Rose, even though she's been sleeping with her husband. Of course, Rose didn't know that he was married. And it's just a really brilliant exchange and it plays out really, really well. And then a little later on, Rose is going on another date. And I do think the pacing here is quite interesting. The The passage of time is quite fascinating. But nevertheless, Rose is ready to go on another date. Uh, and she does. And she, she comes back a little later on. And I thought this was so funny. I was so confused about what was going on that I thought it must be a dream. Rose must be having a dream. This is what she's imagining happening. But that's not the direction they went down. And I really loved it. And I thought it was a really great way to end things. Rose comes back from her date with Arnie. And the others ask her how it went. And she, she said, I slept with him. And I killed him. And I thought, what? And then I, that's when I thought, this must be a dream. And then she said, she told the sheriff about how she sleeps with men and they die and he didn't believe her. So the sheriff said, well, sleep with me. And I thought, well, this is getting strange. And then she said, I did and I killed him. And by that point, I was so confused. And then she started to laugh. And I realized what was going on. She was having fun at the situation. She was poking fun at herself for this fear that she'd had. And I just thought it was it was brilliant. It was a really lighthearted way to end a brilliant episode. And once again, The Golden Girls has taken a dark subject and treated it with respect, but also brought in plenty of comedy. And it's unusual as well that Rose is the source of comedy or the one making the jokes. At least this far into the show. I don't know if that changes going forward. But usually if there's comedy surrounding Rose, it's because she's said something usually a little bit dim. And somebody, usually Sophia, has retorted in a way that's comedic. But for Rose to be the one 
creating the comedy is a little bit different and I and I really liked it and I hope we get to see more of that as I think there's a lot of potential when the character lets her guard down and allows herself to be open to these kind of situations and to have fun at things rather than taking things on face value. Really enjoyed it, wasn't sure what to expect, but In a Bed of Roses ended up being a really great episode. 